Tucker Carlson is once again in the crosshairs. Liberals are pressuring advertisers to boycott Carlson's show uh, because of comments that he made about immigration. So far, IHOP has pulled its ad, Ancestry.com, TD Ameritrade, I think nine, eight or nine others or more have also pulled their ads. I'm just going to read for you what Carlson said on his show last week, and I'll put it in its context. He said, our country's economy is becoming more automated and tech-centered by the day. It's obvious that we need more scientists and skilled engineers, but that's not what we're getting. Instead, we're getting waves of people with high school educations or less. Nice people, no one doubts that, but as an economic matter, this is insane. It's indefensible, so nobody even tries to defend it. Instead, our leaders demand that you shut up and accept this. We have a moral obligation to admit the world's poor, they tell us, even if it makes our own country poorer and dirtier and more divided. Now, obviously, it's that last sentence that has been the most contentious. And as far as the comments themselves go, his overall point is not only right but unassailable, that it is simply not economically feasible, it is indeed insane to continue importing unskilled workers by the millions, especially, as Carlson points out, in an economy, a society where the workforce is, is more and more in need of people with technical proficiencies and skills. And we're getting the exact opposite. So that is a fine and important and completely practical point to make. And it's a point that more people should be making. But Carlson says that immigration is making our country poorer, dirtier, and more divided. Well, Poorer and more divided, that, that again is self-evidently true. It's when you bring in more poor people, you make the country poorer. And as an economic matter, once again, that's not a smart move. More divided, obviously it's making us more divided in more ways than one. We're divided amongst ourselves about the issue of immigration, not to mention culturally, when you bring people in with a different culture, a different language, they don't assimilate, you have more divisions there. So that again is true. So really this all boils down to that one word, dirtier. He said he's making the country dirtier. And I do think that that was a gratuitous and unnecessary word to use. You can point out that many immigrants are unskilled in terms of their value to the marketplace, but to say that our country is dirtier because of them, well, that obviously is unnecessary. It's beside the point. And it fits right into the stereotype anyway of the bigoted conservative who's going around ranting about dirty foreigners. It's a stereotype that you're allowing yourself to be tossed in with. He has been misquoted here uh, in some of the headlines about this, claiming that Carlson called immigrants dirty. He didn't, he didn't actually say that. He said that they make the country dirtier. That's not the same thing as saying the immigrants themselves are dirty. And... Um, he has himself pointed out that illegals do leave behind a lot of trash at the border and so forth. Um, so that's a, par a problem. But still, there's no reason to say it. Dirtiness is not the point. It has nothing to do with the point that Carlson himself was making. And the point he was making was a good point about the strain on the economy. So he detracted from his own point, which isn't a good idea, especially when the point is so important. The other thing that I wish that prominent conservatives would keep in mind is that when you say anything, right? And you're a prominent conservative with a lot of fans. There's always going to be a group of other conservatives of, you know, your fans who are just going to reflexively defend whatever you say. And they're going to defend it in a far less nuanced and sophisticated way than you originally presented the view. So now we have to endure the spectacle of some conservatives, not a lot, but some conservatives on social media standing up and saying, no, he's right. Immigrants are dirty. It's time someone said it. Yes. It's not the point. This, this, that's not the direction we need to go with this. We don't need to have a conversation about how dirty immigrants make the country. It's not the point. It completely detracts from the important point that we're trying to make. So I wish he hadn't said that. It is also stupid and gratuitous and unnecessary to organize advertiser boycotts over one word that you didn't like and that perhaps was poorly chosen.